Right, uh, hello everyone. Um, right, first things first, I've got to say thank you. Yeah, I know I ain't got loads of subscribers, but I've got close, I'm getting towards 50 now, which is, like, I'm well made up. Um, had loads of views. Um, yeah, I know that, ain't, listen, I, I, honestly, I admit it could be frustrating watching my videos because I'm all over the place. Um, yeah, I'm kind of like that as a person, really. So, um, but I've slowed down on the cars. Um, I've got a few, a few more cars to get rid of. I bought way too many cars. I had nowhere to park them. Got myself in the right state. Stressed out. Uh, ain't been really feeling too well. Anyway, daddy, 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 da da. Um, anyway, so. The uh, Peugeot Boxer. We've got a problem at the moment with it. Um, just shut this door. So, um, we've. I'm going to have to put my glasses on. It's just. I mean, the van has been running brilliantly. Um, I've had no issues with it, however, um, in the last couple of days, the uh, engine management light's been coming back up, but it's been running okay, however, um, oh, I don't want to clear it, sorry, um, right, what am I doing, sorry. Right, so we want to read our codes. Um, it's given me throttle position sensor, um, switch A and B. Right, so I let's see if I'll turn this straight. I actually I had this problem. Um, let's straighten this up. So, right, I, I, I had this problem before, um, exact same problem, and it turned out it was the earth connection on the battery that was causing the problem. So, I'm going to check that again um, and see where I am with that. Now, what I will say, um, if we go back um, right uh, yeah let's just go back for a minute right go back to uh, scan and the reason why I'm doing this is because it actually initially it, it was showing two faults with with the vehicle um, Right, let's read the codes again. Because it also says, yeah, right. So, see, this is what I can't really understand because I did actually put this on. Um, I did. So, the, I mean, it's running lovely, but I don't see it. Lights up. It is, to be fair, it is, it is surging a little bit on idle, so I'm going to change the, uh, I'm going to do a service on it, because I know the filter, the last time I've done a service, I didn't change the diesel filter, and I know I should have done, um, but to be fair, one of my mates done it for me, who's got a garage, and he was like, oh, don't change the diesel filter, it causes you loads of grief, you won't get it started and all that, but I mean, I've got to change it and then just hope for the best so and I'll also once I've done the service I'll have to um, I'll have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to check the um, yes yeah, it's not running right but that happened before when the earth strap was not working on the battery so I'm obviously going to check that as well so anyway we'll go through it and we'll see how we get on with it 
Right, here we go. So we're gonna we're gonna do this little video in step by step. So if you wanna know where the OBD port is, it's um, if you're in the UK, it's on the right hand side. Um, and obviously it's, it's quite a few fuses there as well. So if you've got any problems, that's a, that's a fuse box there. Okay, there is another fuse box. Just gonna have a quick look now. So you've also got a fuse box there, here as well. So there's a lot of relays and fuses in there. So if you ever need to check any fuses, um, that's where it is. But you know, obviously, you can hear that. It's definitely surging. It's not running right. So, um, I don't know. I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to sit for the bottle body at some point. You see, anyway. Oh, sorry. Right. So, diesel filters over here, obviously. So if we're looking at the van. See how? That's a diesel filter. Um, obviously, air filter here. And then all the coolant, I mean it does need to top up on the coolant, I know that. But other than that, I mean this van uh since my last video. I mean look. I don't know if you can see that. But this van's only done 40 well focus is not great, I'm sorry. But it has done 45,000 miles. And this isn't a two 2007 van, so you know, <laughs> for an old van, um, yeah, she ain't done many miles, but anyway, right, I'm gonna get this service. Uh, um, yeah, it's not running right, we're gonna have to try and find out what's going on. Um, it's, it's well, let's get it serviced, I suppose, and see what happens.